What's up YouTube, how y'all doing? My name is Beaker and welcome to my channel. On today's video, we're gonna be looking at the good, better, and best ARs of season five. Now I know I am very late to this, but when season five first came out, there was like zero weapon balancing. So I didn't want to pretty much just remake uh, the season four reloaded one. I wanted a new list and thankfully we got two balances and thankfully one of those was the Krig nerf. Thank God I was getting so tired of that gun. It's just, it was, and I said it from the get, uh, not really from the get, but pretty pretty close into it, that it was just in, way too easy to use. Long range ARs just, in my opinion, should not be in the meta. You know, being that easy to use, the TTK shouldn't have been where it was. Granted, it wasn't the highest, but it wasn't like the lowest either. So it's ease of use and TTK just heavily outweighed itself. So anyways, going into it, best AR, season five, still the Cold War AK as far as statistics goes. It has It's very mobile, has really good ADS, and it has the fastest TTK of any of the assault rifles. So definitely can't knock that gun at all. I think it's going to take some time for people to get used to that gun. Uh, just like it took a long time for people to get used to the AMAX. It's going to take a long time for people to get used to the Cold War AK as well. Second, it's really, really difficult. Pretty much it's just going to come down to my personal preference because these two weapons are very, very extremely comparable, very, very similar. Um, as far as damages and everything like that and that's going to be the xm4 so like i said in my xm4 video that I actually did doing the full breakdown of this gun um it's going to replace the krig it's very very easy to use um there is some visual recoil that i think kind of steers people away i think people will, if they don't like that will go more towards the fara but if you're looking for something that's going to hit uh have faster ttks and reward you for just hitting one headshot XM4 is 100% going to be the weapon for you. And then last but not least, it's the C58. I didn't include it in my last list. Kind of forgot about it. I don't know why, but and I still like where my old list was. But with the C58 and again with the, the Craig being nerfed. Um, and a lot of pros still use this gun. I, I did test it before I made this list because it did receive a nerf. Uh, it was mostly just a damage range and a recoil nerf, which was not that bad at all. So C58 still smacks. It's still very, very viable. Don't be afraid of that nerf at all so to kind of back up exactly what i'm saying let's go ahead and jump over to true game data and check out these guns stacked up head to head all right so just like last video we're gonna go fastest ttk as possible you can get granted very very unachievable but this is going to be already ads and all headshots only numero uno cold war ak of course second xm4 pretty much like what i said but this thing has an insane headshot multiplier, which as you can see, long range TTK is uh, tied with Cold War AK. But then coming in third, not the best for mid range, which isn't a huge deal, right? But long range, this thing's insane. But let's be honest, unless you're hacking, you're not gonna hit constant headshots with the C58. You have to hit multiple headshots for this to actually drop your TTK. But as you can see, there's no damage drop off. So definitely, high skilled weapon to use it's not easy to use at all i definitely struggle with this gun personally from time to time um, but when i'm on it and i'm using this gun i'm melting people so it definitely can't go without uh, including this gun in this list so that's that and then we're going to check out just standard chest ttk um, you know most most people hit like 30 percent chest and stomach and then the rest you know you kind of mix in extremities and headshots so Still, number one, Cold War AK. Like I said, this thing melts, and even at long range, this thing's going to melt. C58 kind of takes over on the XM4. Not by a lot, but it does. Uh, and then we kind of just switch positions here at long range. The XM4 takes over on the C58. So, again, this is a lot more achievable, in my opinion, for the XM4. Just because the, it's more forgiving. Just shooting faster than, obviously, the, than the C58. The C58 shoots very, very slow. So, if you start missing shots, your TTK drops significantly so when we go ahead and take and this is where things are going to change quite a bit so we go ahead and actually add you know from zero ads and then having to fully ads on its own this is where things change quite a bit cold war ak still on top but like i said with the barrel that i'm going to use and i'm going to go over the the builds after this the barrel that you use with the cold war ak for the best recoil uh, control and only having 45 round mag there's just no denying this thing is so so aggressive and this is actually what makes this gun a really good sniper support gun as well so if you're looking for something else i personally have been like a qbz but if you want something a little bit more hard hitting and a little bit more mobile cold rake definitely a good choice 
right behind that again these are both running 45 run mags so that's where the c58 is still going to take over the xm4 because the xm4 we're going to have the 60 round mag so but it's still not very far behind and like i said this gun is very easy to use i'm telling you even though it has some visual recoil it once you get used to that bounciness very very easy to use guys i promise you try this thing out it's not bad at all but I, like i said i think if people struggle with it they're going to go over to the far up but again that ease of use you're penalized a little bit right because it's easy to use therefore it can't melt as fast xm4 is hard to use therefore it melts faster than the far up. so that's where that's why i put this gun where i do and this is my new main this is my loadout gun that i'm going to have most of my experimental like smgs and stuff i'm going to always pair it with xm4 just because it works so well uh, pretty much anywhere you're at so let's go ahead and check out some of the builds on these guns so starting off right on the top cold war ak we're going to run the group suppressor obviously that's going to be the same on all these Gru or agency uh the liberator barrel because it actually has a smoother recoil pattern than the spets has rpk the recoil magnitude is more than the liberator uh the, i'm sorry than the rpk however it the rpk has these weird this weird bouncing this horizontal bouncing which is impossible to counter there's just no way around it unless you're on mouse and key and you memorize the recoil patterns you're just not going to do it most cod players aren't that in depth in their in the recoil uh pattern learning so liberator is definitely a way to go and like i said you don't get penalized on your ads for this well, just on, on this one you do so again just shrinking down ttks even more with this barrel and having some of the recoil there's no reason why you shouldn't be running this barrel spetsnaz grip just gonna get the best recoil reduction 45 round mag again just because this thing has a ton of damage per mag you can run the 60 if you want to again you're running that different barrel so it's not going to affect you too much but honestly 45 is plenty if you're used to the amax this thing is going to be like a carbon copy of that uh, and then obviously we're going to round it in with the axle arms uh, 3x optics so that's going to be cold War k definitely give this thing a shot um i do i mean i'm not gonna lie i do struggle to go back to this gun just because um it's harder to use right and it's and i do like the xm4 so much but i just need to get over it right <laughs> and just use that the uh this gun more and get used to the recoil pattern because i'll be melting people very very fast uh, we're going to bounce over to the XM4 here, so still kind of the same. Agency suppressor, the task force barrel. Uh, this one, I know Jay got did a video comparing the fourth and the sixth barrel, uh, and the fourth and the sixth are pretty much the same other than the Cold War K, which we just went over, and the XM4. The task force barrel for the XM4 is above and beyond much, much better than the Ranger barrel as far as recoil, smoothness, magnitude, everything. Yeah, you don't get that. You do get that ADS penalty, but it's really not that bad if you're used to long range ARs. It's not anything like like the Fara, for example, is pretty slow ADS. So it's not anything like that. Feel the integrate for the best recoil reduction. Uh, the Stenag 60 round mag. You can run the 45, but honestly, I just like having the 60 um, it's on like any kind of 5.56 style rifle. And then we're going to end it with the Axle Arms 3X Optic. The C58 is going to be actually exactly the same as the XM4 other than the mag. Agency suppressor, task force barrel, X-Arms 3X optic, 45 round drum, which again, when I went over in the graph, it's just better to get the ADS times. And this thing shoots slower than the Cold War AK. So if you're, if you're okay with using a 45 on a Cold War AK, you're definitely okay using a 45 on the C58. Then we're going to run the field agent grip on this. I actually end up running, and I don't know if you guys are super picky with stuff but i don't know why the t-pose reticle for me just doesn't work all that well so i run this clean living just nice clean green plus sign optic it seems to help me out a little bit so i don't know if optics really do anything just kind of like with the t-pose reticle with the old vlk if it actually does anything who knows but if it works just do it who cares right so so that's it those are my picks for this uh this season Definitely an honorable mention, and I mentioned it quite a few times, is the Farah. 
I think, again, if people are struggling with the visual recoil of the Cold War AK and the XM4, and they don't want something like the C58 that's a bigger skill gap, I think the Farah is going to be next in line. Um, check out my video if you didn't like the Farah before, and you really don't like the XM4, but you want to give the Farah another chance. I actually made a really, really good build with the Farah that addresses the horrible ADS time and also the reload time, which obviously is pretty easy to figure out. You just use the fast mag, but... Very, very fun build to use, guys. Uh, definitely try it out every now and then, but definitely want to make that a mention in this video. Thanks again, guys, for sticking around to the very end. Check out the LNG and SMG follow-up to the Good Veteran Best series of Season 5. Thanks again, guys, for sticking around to the very end. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.